Hello everybody, this is Mika Seppele. In this video I will discuss the harmonic series. It is an important series in calculus. It um, can be used for many purposes, even though one can show that it doesn't have a finite value. Now the infinite sum, 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth plus and so forth, is called the harmonic series. One can show that the partial sums of the harmonic series, that is the sums 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth plus and so forth up to 1 over some number capital M, grow arbitrarily large as capital M grows. This means that the harmonic series diverges and we cannot associate a value to this harmonic series. In spite of that fact, it is very important and we need to understand why these sums, partial sums, get arbitrarily large as m grows. So in this video we will prove that the harmonic series diverges. To explain why the harmonic series diverges, it is useful to view the terms of the harmonic series as areas of certain boxes. Over the interval from k-1 to k, we place a box of height 1 over k. So this box has the base of length 1 and height 1 over k, so the area of this box is 1 over k. And the harmonic series corresponds now the combined areas of the boxes starting with k equals 1, so a box of height 1 over the interval from 0 to 1, and so forth. Now observe that the union of the 10 first boxes over the interval from 0 to 10 contains the rectangle with base the interval from 0 to 10 and height 1 over 10. That is the yellow rectangle shown in this picture. To explain the general method, we observe first that the area of this yellow rectangle is, of course, base times height, that is 10 times 1 over 10, which is 1. Therefore, we conclude that the combined area of the corresponding blue boxes, that is the sum 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth plus and so forth up to 1 over 10, is greater or equal to the area of the yellow box, which is 1. So we conclude that 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth plus and so forth plus 1 over 10 is greater or equal to 1. Now, this seems a little bit silly, because this is of course trivially true. Already the first term of the left-hand side, which is 1, is greater or equal to 1. And then we add something positive to 1, so we certainly get something which is actually strictly greater than 1. Now, we make this argument to explain the general case. Next we increase the number of boxes tenfold. So we add to the 10 first boxes, we add the 90 boxes over the interval from 10 to 100. And now the 90 boxes over the interval from 10 to 100, the union of these contains the rectangle with the base interval from 10 to 100 and height 1 over 100. That is also here the corresponding yellow rectangle. And we conclude that the combined area of the blue boxes, shown here, is greater or equal than the area of the yellow box. That is 1 over 11 plus 1 over 12 plus 1 over 13 plus and so forth plus 1 over 100 is greater or equal to 0 0.9. But this also is of course trivially true because already the first term of the left hand side that is 1 over 11 is greater than 0 0.9 so you may wonder what's the point 
but now here we have used a method that becomes useful when we generalize the argument next. For any positive integer k, consider the interval from 10 to the power k to 10 to the power k plus 1. This long interval contains 10 to the k plus 1 minus 10 to the k, k unit intervals and over each unit interval we place a box of height corresponding to the term of the harmonic series. So these boxes corresponding to terms of the harmonic series, they are the blue boxes shown in this figure. The union of these blue boxes contains the yellow rectangle with base the interval from 10 to the power k to 10 to the power k plus 1 and with height 1 over 10 to the power k plus 1. The area of this rectangle is base times height, that is 10 to the power k plus 1 minus 10 to the power k times 1 divided by 10 to the power k plus 1. And this simplifies to 9 over 10. So we conclude that uh, the sum n from 10 to the power k plus 1 to 10 to the power k plus 1, 1 over n, is greater or equal to 9 over 10 for any k. And this means that whenever you increase the number of the terms of the harmonic series to tenfold, that is a number of terms in the sum n from 1 to capital M, 1 over n, the value of the sum increases by more than 9 over 10. And this means that by taking capital M to be large enough, the sum n from 1 to capital M, 1 over n, gets arbitrarily large. So this means that the harmonic series diverges, the sum n from 1 to the infinity, 1 over n, does not have a finite value. This is an important fact that has many applications in calculus. Want to learn more? Visit www.webalt.com.